All right, guys, welcome back to another GM Golf video. Based off the title of this video, you guys probably already know what's gonna be happening. First of all, before we go on with the rest of this video, I'd like to announce that it's actually sponsored by Golf Pride, as you guys can see there. This worked out really well because, as you guys probably already know, or maybe you don't, I already use Golf Pride grips. However, I've been wanting to get new grips and I wanted to test out something different. And so Golf Pride sent me these grips right here. As you guys can tell, we also got these grips in good, good colors. Normally, on my clubs, I have standard grips. Today, I'm gonna to be getting my grips double wrapped when I get them changed. Also, these grips are a plus four for the right hand. So they're a little thicker in the hands. It's a little bit of a thicker grip. I've never tried something different on my grips. I've just always had standard, but I'm gonna get my grips double wrapped. We're gonna play nine holes in today's video once I get my clubs re-gripped, and we're gonna see what we can shoot, see if I feel like it helps my game, and see if I can play well. Anyways, today we're out here at Waters Creek, and then we're gonna go out and play the nine hole course. Shout out to Golf Pride for sponsoring today's video, the number one grip on tour. All right, here we go, guys. The grips have officially been finished, and I have not hit a single shot with any of these clubs, but let me tell you, they look and feel amazing. It is definitely different because, I don't know, I'm used to like such a smaller grip on the club. Like I said, it, it was double wrapped on these grips and it's like plus four for the right hand, which is actually good for me because I have a tendency of getting a weak right hand and sometimes that gets exaggerated with a smaller grip. So, I don't know, we'll see how this feels. This will definitely take my hands out of my golf swing a little bit more, which is good because sometimes they get handsy through impact. We'll see how we do with these new grips, but I think they should be really solid. I mean, they feel and look clean. Look at that, good, good colors, baby blue. Let's go. Hit a couple P wedges, I'm gonna hit a couple seven irons, and then maybe a couple four irons, then a three wood, and then we'll go to the course. I will say it feels different. The club almost feels bigger. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like when I had smaller grips, it just felt different. I'm gonna hit a couple four irons and a three wood. We'll get to the first tee. All right, here we go, guys. We've actually made it to the first tee today. We're out here playing Waters Creek. Um, straight away hole. I've never played this course, so it's gonna be interesting. Looks like it's a little bit of a slight dog leg to the right. I'm gonna aim out left and hopefully play the fade. That is one thing that I've noticed already on the range is it's tougher to get my hands to turn over. So it's gonna help my swing a lot because you guys know sometimes it get handsy through the ball. That's what causes a, a quick snapper. So we'll see if we uh, can get that dialed in. But today, dog leg to the right, par four. Let's see how we do. too much fade on that one we'll see where that ends up not the start we wanted I got about 190 yards this hole actually was 444 so I should have hit driver um, I missed it in the right rough <laughs> it's not looking good for me guys I got a four iron just trying to punch it up there if I can leave myself a good shot at the green I'll be happy rolling down just left of the green. I actually got that pin high and I kept that super low. So pretty happy with that shot. Hopefully I can just get it up and down. First time seeing this course once again. So I don't know, I will say the grips do feel nice. That's one thing. I'm testing out a thicker grip, so we'll see, see if it works. All right, here we go. Up by the green, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to give myself a good shot at the green. This is not the start we wanted. We got something to look at, so I can't be, I can't complain. I got a 58 degree here. I'm trying to carry this a pretty good ways to the pin. I haven't hit any putts on these greens, so we'll see how they react. Well, that did not spin as much as I thought it would. Unless I can make a pretty decent length putt for par, I'm potentially staring at bogey in the face on this first hole. Hopefully I can clutch up and make this though. Keep it at even. Down the hill, this looks pretty dead straight. Just need to hit this right at the hole. Uh, Left it short, right in the heart. After the first hole, guys, one over. Not the start I wanted. Kind of a stupid bogey there, but we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are. 
Uh, we actually skipped a few holes. We're kind of skipping around today. There's not too many people out here, so we're just we're getting in as many holes as we can. It's actually Micah's birthday dinner tonight, so that's why we're kind of skipping around. I want to get as many holes of golf in before I got to go to his birthday dinner at like 6 p.m. So anyways, we skipped to a par 5, 511 yards, hole 7 out here at Waters Creek. I got driver in hand. First time hitting driver with the new grip. Let's see how it goes. It'll be fine. Yeah, just up the right side. I think that's just gonna be right at the fairway. Wasn't the greatest swing, but it's par five, so we should be good. Guys, here's the deal. Just right in the fairway, as you guys can tell, par five. I still got over 200 yards into the green, and it is straight into the wind. So I'm having to hit four iron and knock it down, trying to play like a little knockdown draw. We'll see if this works. That got ate up by the wind. Unfortunately, just over that bunker, got a chip to get up and down for birdie. Made it up to the green here. Like I said, my ball just carried the bunker here. It was not not the greatest shot, kind of pushed it out right, and obviously didn't have quite enough club. I got a lot of green to work with, however, I've been using like only a 58 degree around the green recently, and I'm gonna try and carry this probably just 10 feet short of the pin and let it stop. It's kind of an interesting line. Uh, that was horrendous. I actually got so under that ball that it, it hit like right there on the club face. But I got an uphill look. This is not what you want on such a short par five. Loser. I actually can't be upset. I rolled that pretty well. A little bit of a misread, but we're on to the third hole of the day, which is actually going to be hole eight out here at Waters Creek. Currently one over par through two. Not the start we wanted. We got seven holes left. My goal is to just shoot under par today first time seeing this course. If I can make a couple more birdies, I'll be happy with that. Here we are, par four, kind of a tight hole. I've been playing a fade with, I feel like every club recently, so I'm gonna aim a little bit out left. Just hope we can fade it into the fairway. Come on, keep coming. Ah. This, is, this must be a really tight hole once you get further up there because I was like at the left side of the fairway and I think I carried it too far to where it bounced down into the rough. Hopefully I'm just not behind a tree. I actually hit that so well. I can't be upset. Here we go. It is what it is. I don't know if this was necessarily a driver hole. I think I probably should have hit four and laid it back because it, like I said, this hole gets super tight the further up you go. And unfortunately mine bounced left down into here and I don't have much of a swing to be honest, so. Kind of have to hold it off. I think I have about like 75 yards. So I got a 58 degree. I do have a little bit of a gap. If I can just give myself a good look at birdie, I'll be happy. Okay. I'm not mad at that. That's for sure. Being over here in the trees, just having a birdie look. Hopefully I can make that. Walking up to the green here, guys. I'm, I'm not mad at this, that's for sure. It's, it seems to be like a dead straight putt. There's one thing about me with putting. I feel like I have a better chance of making putts when it breaks a ton rather than when it's dead straight. For some reason, it's a mental thing. I don't know why, but I feel like I make more birdie looks when it's, when it's actually got a noticeable break. Oh! <sighs> the Grant Lipper. We're not gonna call them lip outs anymore. We're just gonna call them Grants at this point. That looks so good though. I thought it was gonna fall left at the end. Still one over through three. I don't know what hole we're gonna be going on to. We might skip around some more to get as many holes in as possible. All right, here we are guys. Onto a par four. It's not drivable, but it's like 350. So I got driver. Just trying to hit it up the left side. A little cut. <laughs> Holy yes. That's probably the best drive I've hit in like, it's been a while. That's probably the best drive I've hit in a while. <laughs> Chase and I are in so much shock right now. I mean, I could, I'm, when I say I could not hit a ball better, that is the best I could ever hit a drive. It actually almost went in the hole. And we thought for sure it was gonna be a maybe 30 yard short. It is really downwind. Look at the pen, you guys can tell. As you guys can tell, the pen indicates that it's super downwind. I did not think I was gonna get this to the green. Cause like I said, it was 350. I didn't think there was any chance. It must have landed on that down slope, probably like 30 yards short, 40 yards short and just ran. That's crazy. I got an eagle look. Hopefully I can make it guys. Down the hill. Should be wiggling a tiny bit to the right. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get- If I could just putt, if I could just putt, guys. 
Well, we're in with birdie. That's quite the disappointing birdie after hitting a 350 yard par four to six feet. Anyways, it is what it is. A little two putt there. You guys can roast me in the comments for my terrible putting. We're working on it though. We're working on it. Hopefully, hopefully we can start improving. Also, you guys saw my match with Claire. She is going to be giving me a putting lesson probably at like the end of September. Stay tuned for that. Maybe my putting will improve. We'll see. Chase and I were just talking about it, but that ball had to have rolled right by the pen. And we were saying like, if that one actually would have went in, it would have been nothing like Matt's on one because we really like, we have a, a lens that's 24 to 105. And I honestly don't think you could see that rolling up onto the green. So I'm almost glad it didn't go in. Yeah, we don't have the two angles. Yeah, we didn't have the two angles. Here we are, about 160 yards, par three. I'm going to hit a P wedge because it is downwind, so. There is no way. It was like, I think it was, the pin's in the back, it was 155 in there. I think it was like 160, 162 to the pin. I don't know. I thought I had to swing full at it. I guess I didn't. P Wedge carried the green. I had a solid shot that was right at the pin. Hopefully I can get that up and down for the par. First thing that I've noticed about these grips as we're five holes in is the fact that it is taking my hands out of the swing a lot. For example, like for me to hit it online, I have to just really turn and rotate through the ball, which is one of my biggest problems. Sometimes I get here and flip. So on those like last two tee shots that I hit, the drive on the last hole especially, all I did was turn through impact and this thicker grip kind of took my hands out of it a little more. So I'm actually loving this so far. Just long in the green, gotta get this up and down for par. Oh. One thing that I might, we'll see as we keep going, I might have to get these grips and my wedges as like standard size. My chipping and my wedges are typically the best part of my game and I haven't gotten a ton of time to test out the wedges and chipping around the greens. The last thing I want to do is take some of my feel out of it by getting a bigger grip on my wedges. So that might be the only thing that I go back to standard, but that's not even a guarantee. I don't know yet. All right, guys, here we are. This is actually going to be the last hole of the video, the sixth hole of the video. I wish I could be playing nine, but like I said, I got to get to a birthday dinner. Shout out to Tig. Let's get a happy birthday, Tig, in the comments down below. It's not actually his birthday today, and it's not actually his birthday the day that I'm uploading this video. But anyways, just get a happy birthday, Tig, in the comments down below. Anyways, I'm skipping to another par three because I want to hit another wedge shot. We're on to hole number 11. It's a little shorter than the last par three that we just played. I got a P wedge in hand, and this one's into the breeze, not downwind. So these grips are feeling nice once again because it kind of takes my hands out of the swing and I'm able to just rotate through the ball and these grips in general are just pure So depending on if you're a mid-size or standard, I would suggest these grips for any of you guys wanting to get new grips But here we go Ooh, that's... Oh dang, I hit that good. I think it's gonna be short a little right. I think that's all though. Just in the bunker. Should be pin high. I just need to get it up and down and finish at even par. If I can finish it even through these six, I'll be happy. This is the penalty you guys get sometimes when you hit a bad shot. I kind of deserve it for missing a green from 145 with a wedge. But look at this line. I don't know if you guys can tell too well, but it's sitting down there and I don't have any green to work with. So the odds of me getting this close are like slim to none. I'm just going to hit it and hope. Bruh. My gosh, <laughs> that caught me off guard. I did not expect to, uh, I did not expect that ball to come out of the bunker that well, but hey, we got a good look at par. Let's go. All right, here we go. I almost bounced out of the cup. All right, well, we finished up at even par through those six holes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I got these grips with, uh, a couple extra wraps on the shaft without knowing if I was going to actually like it or not. I ended up liking the feel of the grip a lot, so I'm definitely going to keep these in the bag. Once again, shout out to Golf Pride for sponsoring today's video, number one grip on tour. If you guys want to check out Golf Pride, the link will be in the description down below to everything Golf Pride related. Even these exact grips, if you guys want to get these exact grips. I'm excited to be uh, rocking a little bit of a thicker grip now. Let's get it, guys. Y'all have a good day, and uh, until next time, peace out.